So after doing uh, plenty of research and um, thinking about getting this camera for a while, um, I've taken the plunge and got myself the um, DJI um, Action 2. Uh, so here it is here in the box. I got the, um, the dual screen uh, combo. So the lens in the top bit um, and then a second screen that you attach to the bottom also that has a, um, a extra battery in it um, and that's where you put the um, SD um, storage card. Um, so let's um, have a look at what's in the box. Um, so a little sleeve of um, a couple of little booklets and some stickers. Don't need to look at that. Um, quick start guide. Um, it's very easy to, to get going. You do need the um, DJI um, MIMO app and, um, and an account um, set up to sort of register and activate um, the action cam but there's not a problem I already had uh, already got the um, DJI um, Osmo Pocket so I've already got an account in that so um, easy enough to do. Okay so here's inside the box so firstly we've got the um, the lens itself um, with the screen on the back um, magnetic um, piece at the bottom um, that connects to the bottom unit um, power button on the top and when you are recording um, you just press that to, to start recording press it again to stop um, really easy um, to use obviously the screen um, is touch screen swipe up and down and so forth okay this is the um, the dual screen that the base unit um, so as I said there's um, some more battery in here um, it's got the SD um, card slot at the back um, and how this works is you take your lens piece at the top, you got your piece at the bottom, and just clips like that. It's a really, really strong magnet um, and just sort of kind of pulls itself together. Um, it's got these couple of clips on the side um, that once it's attached, they, they just clip themselves in uh, by themselves. And then to release, you just squeeze, um, squeeze these pieces either side. So um, just like that, pull it away, boom easy um, and it's easy enough uh, once the units attached to switch between um, different screens uh, obviously depending which way you're facing the camera um, to you know access all the settings and so forth okay so um, we've also got a couple of um, sections in the box one at the top and one at the bottom so in the um, top piece if we open that up uh, with the charging cable itself um, now to charge it you do need the um, second screen or battery piece attached to the top unit um, and then you just charge through that um, plugs in in there nice and easy okay what else uh, what's in this this uh, little pouch if we can get it open goodness Okay, this is a little mount um, that will attach to any GoPro style um, um, accessory. Um, you know, just um, screw it in there. And I think this lens should just clip on. Yep, there we go. So easy enough. And again, it's got those clips at the side and pull away. So I did... Um, try attaching it the wrong way around there was resistance as you do get with magnets um, but let's just do that again easy now okay, what else have we got um, so here. Ah, so this is the um, magnetic um, lanyard so you can just um, wear this around your neck uh, like so and uh, where are we? Got the, the lens. How does this attach? Boom. Here we go. We are attached. Uh, you can wear that under your shirt as well if you don't want it hanging around your neck like um, you can see here. Okay. The, the next section. Should have got some scissors or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we've got a, another uh, mount here um, that you can just screw on. I'll show you in a sec. Okie dokie. So, 
got uh, this magnetic uh, mount which screws on to this one. Oh yeah, it pops off the bottom um, and then you've got an adhesive um, base to it so you can stick it to say your dashboard or uh, window or whatever. Um, and then again the unit itself, boom, clips on, easy. And that is the box empty. We have unpacked everything. So there is a heap of other accessories that you can buy for the DJI Action 2. Um, I've just gone with um, what's in the box at the moment, um, but over time I could see myself adding to these. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to actually um, get out and start using this camera in the real world. So um, let's give that a go and go do that now. Okay, that was uh, trying out the slow-mo um, setting on the Action 2. Um, so the first clip was shot in uh, 4K, uh, slowing it down to four times the normal speed. Um, and the second clip was in uh, 1080p, uh, slowing it down to eight times the normal speed. Uh, you can only go down to eight times the normal speed in the um, 1080p setting. So that was a little hyperlapse um, clip. Um, I shot that at uh, five times uh, the normal speed. Uh, with hyperlapse, you can go up to all the way up to 30 times the normal speed, um, and there is an auto setting as well, to, um, so it'll just work it out itself. So I'm just using the um, internal uh, microphone and with the Action 2. Um, seems to do a pretty good job at uh, picking up my voice. Um, you can buy an uh, accessory, um, the DJI uh, wireless mic um, that you can connect up um, to the Action 2. So I'll probably look at investing in that at some point. But for now I'm quite happy with the audio, audio quality from the inbuilt mic. So the lens itself is, is a quite a wide um, lens. Uh, there is three um, lens width settings you can have. Um, so there's standard, which is uh, what I'm using at the moment. Um, you can also put it in wide and um, also ultra wide. So let's take a look at the three different settings and see what they look like. Yeah, so as you can see um, with the different settings, you can go um, just from the standard wide, which is already quite wide, um, way out to that ultra wide, which is which is crazy. Um, as you go into wide and ultra wide, um, you can get some warping of the um, clip, but um, you know if you really need that wide setting, um, at least it's available. So that little time lapse I used a custom setting, I set the um, interval to um, 3 seconds and the video duration of recording was at 10 minutes um, to get that little clip. 
Um, so with time lapse there is other settings, you can go all the way down to half a second, all the way up to 40 second uh, intervals on the custom setting um, and there's some also some preset ones that are in there, um, so for clouds um, as an example. Uh, some other settings you might be interested in, um, I'm recording this um, video in 4K uh, 24 frames per second, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, um, but there is other settings you can also do 1080p which will take you up, you can do all the way up to 240 frames per second, in 4K you can do up to 120 uh, frames per second, and then there's other um, options in between that as well in different aspect ratios. In terms of colour profiles, there's um, two colour profiles you can choose from. Um, what they call normal colour and then the D um, cine like um, profile. So most of this um, video I've recorded using the D cine like um, profile and then I've done some um, colour grading and post in um, Final Cut. Yeah so I think that'll um, do it for this um, first outing of the Action 2. I'm really impressed, I um, have really enjoyed using it. Uh, something to be aware of um, if you've got the dual screen, the second screen attached, um, it does drain the battery on that fairly quickly so just um, be aware of that. Um, so yeah, I can see myself using this um, Action 2 a lot and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and trialing it in um, lots of different um, situations. Thanks very much for watching the video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up, that um, really helps, and also subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.